Castellian. You're this uh, this knight who's trying to get to the top of these towers, and there are different rooms in the tower. And one room brings you out to another room. It might bring you up higher, or it might bring you lower. But the idea is to get to the top of the tower without hitting any enemies. Boggle Plus. Boggle Plus a few other word games. Great Boggle game. Uh, you have to use the, the D-pad to tap on the letters that you want, but it works pretty good. I got Boggle on my uh, iPhone and I use that. It makes it a lot better. But back then this was pretty good. T2 Terminator 2 Judgment Day kind of like a Super C only with uh, Terminator characters ah one of the great first platformers of the Game Boy Super Mario Land a great uh, if you like Mario Brothers or you like the Mario games you'll love this game uh, the graphics are kind of vectored see but uh, they're still pretty good and the, the movement is smooth for the most part and it's just an excellent, excellent Mario game. Animaniacs, a platformer based on the Animaniacs characters. Kirby's Block Ball. This is kind of like Alleyway. Only uh, you're using Kirby, and uh, as as the ball, and you got a paddle at the bottom, and you got a bunch of different obstacles. You got uh, a bunch of spikes. You have to make sure Kirby avoids, and uh, go from there to get to each level. It's a pretty tough little game. Once after a while, it gets really really tough. Battleship, an adaptation of the old Battleship game. PGA European Tour. It's a basic golf game where you're using the direction pad to aim your uh, golf club and you hit the A button at the right time to get the right swing. As you see it, a uh, little cursor going across the scale back and forth. That's basically what that is. That's what all the golf games were back in the day. So, except for the ones where you got a little ball and you just jump. Choplifter 2, it's a shooting game based on the old Choplifter games. Uh, I think it's based on an old arcade game. But you, not only do you have to shoot down bad guys, but you have to pick up uh, hostages as well that are being held by the bad guys. The graphics are pretty good, and the physics are smooth. But the Choplifter games always get kind of tough when I'm stopping to have to pick up the uh, prisoners and whatnot. Why do people do that? Why do people put, like, they, they mark on, on markers on back of these things. Metal Masters, it's a, it's a fighting game with uh, customizable uh, robots that you get. Battle Unit Zaoth. This is a uh, side-scrolling shooter. Only you're a robot instead of a spaceship. And the graphics are more... They're more childlike graphics. They're, they're not detailed graphics like other... Like a lot of other shooters. The Rescue of Princess Blobette starring a, a boy and his blob. Basically, if you've ever played a boy in his blob, you have this blob that you use to get you through certain platforms and certain puzzles. And this blob, you have to collect seeds for him. And with each seed that you give a blob, it gives him a certain power uh, to get through the puzzle. Some seeds, they make him smaller or bigger. 
Some seeds, they make them shape, uh, change a certain shape or become a certain tool. And that's what that is. It's a platformer puzzler game. Okay. Kirby's Pinball Land. Basically, pin, uh, basically Kirby's Dream Land is turned into a big pinball land where you use uh, pinball mechanics to get in from one area to another. It's, it's a pretty good game. It's, it's really good. I usually don't like pinball games too much, but it's, it's, it's decent. It's really good. Tiny Toons Adventures. Bab's Big Break, a platformer. Balloon Kid, where you're a little kid and you're being carried around by a balloon. It's a, it's a platformer with a balloon. You're trying to fly this balloon and you're trying to collect as many other balloons as you can uh, to get to the end of the section. You're trying to avoid bad guys, trying to avoid spikes and whatnot. But there's that. Mylon's Secret Castle. This is basically like a crazy castle type game. Stop that roach where you got a bunch of cockroaches and you're in a room and you're different different shapes. And what you have to do is you have to set up these traps for these cockroaches. And then once you press the A button, you see if the trap actually worked. And if it didn't, you have to do the level all over again until you figure out a way to kill the cockroaches that are coming at you. And uh, I think it's one of the last games that I got that I got new for the, uh, the original Game Boy. That's a real good puzzle game. Don't let the name fool you. Excellent puzzle game. Star Trek The Next Generation, a simulator game where you're playing uh, Captain Picard. Snow Brothers, where your main—it's kind of a platformer where your main weapon is to basically freeze everything until you can escape the room. Breakthrough. This is kind of a, the super collapse of its time. You've got a bunch of shapes, a bunch of them, a bunch of squares at the bottom of the screen, and uh, each square has design and what you have to do is you have to eliminate squares of two or more that are together and it makes the ones on top of them collapse so that you can eliminate more squares in the meantime you have a bunch of squares moving across the top of the screen and uh, they're dropping squares at random and you have to get rid of all the squares or as many as you can before uh, they get to the top of the screen and that's basically what that is, very simple game excellent game, if you like to super collapse this is an ancient version of it Clacks. What happens is at the bottom of the screen, you, uh, there's a screen full of uh, four fan belts that uh, are trying to transport a bunch of different sh different colored bricks at you. Or in this case, a bunch of different design bricks. Because this is a uh, Game Boy, so the bricks had different designs on them. And what you do is you got your issue to shape at the bottom of the screen. You have to move the shape to the fan belt that you want and shoot it across and match the other shapes and once you match three or more they disappear and the idea is to keep too many of them from uh, coming down to the bottom of the screen and filling up the screen and it's got the old Tetris syndrome where uh, sometimes they won't give you the uh, shape there or the color that you need and it kind of screws you up but it's a good game though very frantic game apparently it was popular enough to make a game boy color version of which I think I got I have to check on that. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's a platformer based on the uh, on the movie. Okay, now for my last box, and this one's going to take a little bit too, so bear with me. Okay, Adventure Island Two: Aliens in Paradise. It's a platformer game. That's a sequel to Adventure Island, and.
serpent. Basically, your main goal, you're, you're a serpent on the bottom of the screen, and you have another serpent at the top of the screen. And what you have to do is claim more of the screen than the top serpent, which is computer run. And uh, he only moves at a 90 degree angle. It's a very, rather difficult game, I think. Okay, here's a weird game based on, I think, an old NES game. But I think it was on a PC. Hattress. Instead of Tetronimos, what you have are a bunch of hats, different designed hats, that fall down from the top of the screen. And you have to either line them up horizontally or line them up vertically and uh, get four of them in a row or in a line and they disappear. And of course the object is to keep them from stacking up too high. Elevator action. Kind of like a crazy chase game, only with elevators instead of stairs. There might even be a few stairs in there. Super Return of the Jedi, a platformer based on the uh, on the movie, and they're super tough. Ren and Stimpy, Space Cadet Adventures. It's a platformer based on Ren and Stimpy. Krusty Funhouse. This is kind of as a platformer action game, only you play Krusty instead of Bart. And uh, it's kind of like a crazy castle. Spot, cool adventure. This is based on the, uh, I guess, uh, there was a mascot from 7-Up. The, the dot, the red dot was a mascot. And this is a video game with him in it. He's basically, he's jumping across these squares to get to the exits and whatnot. And that's, he's avoiding enemies and all this other stuff. But he's got a bunch of squares on each screen that he has to get to to do certain things and to make his escape. 